in your very first uh, talk to us in the installation, the films that we showed, I noticed that you stressed uh, that people were basically good. I know that cab drivers, a lot of waitresses talk to me about it, and it, you had reached them. And it was surprising. They, they, uh, they almost seemed shocked that somebody would affirm their goodness. Why is it so difficult for people to believe in their own goodness, and why do you address that topic so yeah, often? I think that's, a, that's an awfully important question, and I'm glad you, you made comment on the reaction among cab drivers and others. And I still find it wherever I go. I believe it so intensely. I believe that, uh, again, everybody's made in the image and likeness of Almighty God. There's all this tremendous potential in there, and I think we have to keep telling people, you are good, or they're not going to recognize their potential for greatness, for being what they could be, what God intended them to be. If you tell people you're junk, you're no good, you're rubbish, uh, they have enough uh, to discourage them already. And I think their response is, well, if we're that bad, then there's no point in trying. Uh, what has happened? Why is the question uh, uh, a question at all. I think there has been so much in our society that has contributed to making people feel that they are basically no good. They are not only unloved, but they are unlovable, incapable of being loved. You're talking about sinners too, aren't you? I'm talking about sinners, and I'm, I'm talking about people who think they're sinners and they're not sinners. I'm talking about people who think that everything they do is a sin. And that's not, as many people have, uh, I think, very unjustly alleged, because the Catholic Church has overemphasized the concept of sin. I don't think that's it at all. I think they've been given a sense of worthlessness. Look at the, look at the kids who are abandoned. Look at the huge number of broken marriages. Look at the instances in which, and I realize there are many lonely, difficult marriages, and it's awfully hard for people to, to live together, but this has to be considered. Every time a marriage uh, breaks up, do kids ask themselves, or is there an unconscious uneasiness, if you will, that my parents didn't love me enough to stay together to try to take care of me? And so, so many things contribute to a sense of worthlessness. We have about 30 seconds uh -huh. left. I'd like to ask the big question. For you, who is Jesus Christ? Oh, that's the critical question. That's what all of us have to ask. For me, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, absolutely categorically, who, in whose image I was made and you were made and everybody I know was made. Archbishop, I think at that note, we thank you so much for your visit to Christopher Close-Up. We hope we'll see you again soon.